Hello, ladies and gentlemen, loyal imperial citizens and rebel scum alike. Welcome to another Liam Maiden gameplay video. Back with more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Just a quick video today where we're going to be doing a little bit of a news roundup because we have yet more amazing changes and updates coming to the holo tables. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is an excellent time to be playing Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. The other day, we had a new uh, State of the Galaxy that just dropped do go over and check it out I'll put a link um, down below in the description do check it out if you haven't already I'm gonna be saying that multiple times throughout this video because there is a ton of information in there let's go take a quick look all right here we go uh, state of the galaxy november 2021 it's over on the ea star wars galaxy of heroes blog and this blog post here uh, details massive changes that are coming to grand arena in the game as i said please do go over and check it out because as you'll see here there is just a ton of information but basically what's happening is they are changing the way grand arena works basically you're no longer going to be set into a uh, division Visions based on your galactic power. It's actually going to be based on your performance in Grand Arena. They're breaking down the divisions into these series of leagues, five leagues inside each division, and you move through those leagues based on your performance. So basically, you're going to get a skill score based on how well you use the teams you have rather than your total roster power. This is a massive change. It's blowing my mind to even talk about it. They go into a ton of detail. So as I've said for the um, Teenth time I'm going to keep saying it do go over and check out the blog post link down below there's a lot to get your head around here and they're going to keep going over it as they unroll it but this is a massive new way to run Grand Arena it's no longer just going to be based on your static GP but actually how well you perform so basically you could have a much lower GP but have some awesome tunes and really know how to use them and then you can have someone with a larger GP maybe an inflated roster a little bit like mine um, who may Maybe isn't doing as well as some other people with that GP level and you can end up facing each other even though you have vastly different GPs because the way you perform in Grand Arena is comparable because you're about as good as they are so basically you'll be able to get higher and get better rewards with a lower powered roster this is massive and you can see here, so I should say this post is full of tables. There's just a ton of information, which is really, really great that they're giving all of this to us, but they're changing the way that, that uh, um, GAC is scored as well. So you're gonna get different banners now. You don't get banners for placing defense anymore, for example, but you do get banners for defeating single characters. So even if you don't manage to defeat that full team, but you take out four out of five, you're still gonna get four banners uh, just for that attempt, which I think is amazing. That's a a really awesome change uh, you can see here they, they go into massive detail about exactly how the divisions are going to break down and the kind of rewards you're going to get I've only really looked at it given it a kind of cursory inspection I'm going to spend a lot more time reading through everything but this the consensus seems to be that basically people are going to get much higher rewards you're probably going to get better rewards and your play style how well you actually do in Grand Arena is really going to be rewarded by the game now the second big important thing that they mention here is that they're switching uh, the way you get crystals right now you mainly get crystals through squad arena um, they're really changing the focus away from squad arena you're no longer going to get crystals through squad arena instead you're going to get them through grand arena now this is massive this is an, everything is massive i'm just saying everything is massive because it is it's all massive but this is huge so here they've got a chart um, explaining how they're changing the um the rewards that you're going to get from squad arena so you probably still are going to be interested in squad arena but as they've said they really intended squad arena to be used by uh, lower um, level players players who are really getting ready for grand arena but that's not the way it's functioning game because we still need to be doing that squad arena every single day to get those crystals through our ranking so it's going to change some of the emphasis the emphasis away from squad arena and more of an emphasis on grand arena instead which is where it should be that's where the exciting game mode is and basically it means as soon as you hit level 85 and you have access to grand arena you're going to be able to get some much better rewards there um, and you're going to have less of an emphasis on squad arena now you're going to get crystals instead through grand arena so they're also changing the way that pays out again a ton of information here do go and check it out it's really really exciting i know i um, i've been saying that so much this post uh, this is 
honestly, probably the most exciting update that I've ever seen uh, to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, which is strange, right? Because they're not talking about shiny new toys. They're not talking about bringing in new, new tunes, but they are talking about real structural changes to the way the game is played. And it is long overdue, but I'm so happy it's here. It's really exciting. One more thing I want to touch on uh, real quickly, and shout out to Angel Cortez uh, for bringing this to my attention here from a comment on my channel. Thank you so much, Angel. Um, is that if you go over to the journey guide and you scroll down to tier level four, boom, there you can see Star Killer is incoming. Now, obviously, we knew that this was coming, but I'm so excited to see these changes in game. So I was saying, you know, the really exciting thing with this post, it's not about shiny new toys. I'm still excited about shiny new toys, and Star Killer looks like he's going to be a real shiny new toy. Now you can see here, um, if you go into the journey guide, that they're saying you need Dash Rendar and Kyle Cataram both at Relic 5. So again, they're, they're in encouraging you to go hard on those brand new characters there. It's going to be a long, long time before I've got either of them up at Relic 5. Um, obviously, there's going to be a ton more uh, prerequisites yet to come. So this is, it, it's interesting, it's not a, um, a Galactic Legend, obviously, it's just a legacy event, but it's structured a little more like a Galactic Legend, but that's okay. There's going to be a ton more requirements. Requirements, I'm sure and that makes sense for a brand new character but I'm actually excited if you look here on the right hand side you can see this reward they've got listed here an Omicron uh, material which is kind of exciting right that they're maybe introducing this new mechanic that as we prepare for these new characters as you complete these requirement tiers you're going to get rewarded along the way that is is pretty exciting I know it's maybe another uh, minor it's a minor change this time as opposed to a big one but I'm pretty excited about that obviously there are lots of other rumors flying around the community as well about a ton of other um, upcoming changes to the game. Uh, Nihilus's, Nihilus's capital ship, for example, from um, Knights of the Old Republic 2. A bunch of other uh, new characters that are maybe coming from the, the EU, the extended universe, mostly from the games. Really excited about those two, but as far as I'm aware, nothing is confirmed at the moment. But stop the presses. While I was recording this video, this post went up again on the developer blog confirming Darth Talon. This is pretty amazing. Another Legends EU character that we're now definitely getting in game. I'm super excited for this. Do go over. This is just another post for you to check out at the developer blog. Do make sure you go over and check it out. We're getting a ton of new content. What an exciting time to be part of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Have a read through. There's a lot of good stuff to like here. Well, there you go. Just a quick news roundup today. Do go over and check out that State of the Galaxy address if you haven't already. And let me know your thoughts and comments down below. What do you think about these upcoming changes? Uh, where do you think you're going to be in the new uh, GAC lineup? And how well do you think you're going to do? As always, really interested to hear your thoughts and comments down below. That is all from me today. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. If you have enjoyed this video, found it informative or entertaining in any way, please consider giving it a like a thumbs up down below I really do appreciate it and it helps out the channel and hey while you're here why not consider subscribing I drop new gameplay videos for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and Marvel Strike Force every single week and I would love to have you along for the ride that is all from me today I'll see you in the next one in the meantime look after each other and remember the force will be with you always